A gyrocopter slammed into a Highlands County mobile home park, killing two people and setting off an inferno that destroyed two homes. And right now, investigators are working into the night trying to figure out why the aircraft fell out of the sky. I'm Carolina Lead. And I'm Katie McCall. It crashed just before three this afternoon at the Sebring Falls Retirement Subdivision. That's near US 27. Night size Josh Dorowitz has been there since that crash happened. And Josh, accident investigators are heading to Sebring. Yeah, Katie, they sure will. FA NTSB will be here starting tomorrow morning. I want you to take a look at this because uh, very hard to tell the difference between what might be some wreckage there versus what is now the charred remains of this home. Either way, investigators will be going through all of it, looking for any clues to explain just what exactly caused this crash. Oh, it was an inferno just right off the bat. I mean, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Randy Myers was not outside to see it, but boy, did he hear it. it was inside the house, and I, I, I saw the shadow out the window, and I heard the, the, him rev his engine back up, and it started sputtering. And then when it sputtered, there was a big explosion. Witnesses reported the gyrocopter flying low before pitching sharply down to the ground. You couldn't tell there was a helicopter there. I mean, it was just massive flames and you can see just how massive in this video from the sheriff's office the flames damaging two neighboring homes and leaving a man who was working outside one of them with minor burns investigators say the copter clipped a power pole before falling into the home here at the sebring falls mobile home park so the power line did not cause the crash there was something that went on before that the sheriff's office says 45 year old Christopher Lord was piloting the copter, flying his passenger, 52 year old Christopher Brugger, to an airport in Manatee. The two took off from the Sebring Regional Airport just a few miles away, where Lord's company, Gyroplane Guy, is based. His website says he is a pilot and instructor who has logged thousands of hours in over 34 models of gyroplanes. And his Facebook has several videos just like this of him flying them. It's a tragic event, the, the two families involved and the, the people that were in the gyrocopter. Um, but we are fortunate it wasn't worse. And I pray for the families that did it, you know, and, and thank God there wasn't anybody more. And back here live, as for the people who own this home, According to investigators, uh, they only live down here seasonally, so they were not home at the time. But incredible to think that nobody else on the ground here was killed. And three years ago, a Bay Area man made national headlines with this gyrocopter. Thank you. Douglas Hughes, a former postal worker, landed outside the U.S. Capitol. Hughes carried with him 535 letters one for each member of Congress protesting political corruption. A judge sentenced him to four months in prison. And as soon as investigators find out the cause of this gyrocopter crash, we're gonna send an alert right to your phone through our free 10 News app.